They're set to go now. And they're off and racing. Over six furlongs here for the Pinsent Masons. Lowther Stakes, this Group 2 race. And a good start made by Tiggy Wiggy in the red jacket down the centre. She's a worldie on the near side with Lady Gemini Sheepskin Noseband. Over on the far side, Anthem Alexander is tracking uh, Tiggy Wiggy with cursory glance in the orange and yellow jacket tracking her. And then behind that one is Patience Alexander towards the back of the field. Then Sula Lout together there with Riautra as they blaze away through the first two and a half furlongs and come down towards the halfway point. Tiggy Wiggy is out in front then. She leads by about a length or so to She's a Worldie on the near side shaken up. Anthem Alexander is poised behind them. Lady Gemini trying to battle on. Cursory glance in the orange sleeves on the outside. Now starts to pick up in decent style as they race up towards the the final furlong and a half. Here's the race we're hoping for. It's Tiggy Wiggy just in front. Cursory glance, hard driven on the outside. Anthem Alexander is under pressure. Tiggy Wiggy keeping up a real, real gallop here inside the final furlong. On the far side, Cursory glance is trying hard to get to her. Tiggy Wiggy from Cursory glance and Tiggy Wiggy will win the Lowther from Cursory glance. Then Anthem Alexander, a bit of a gap then to fourth, Realtra, followed by Sula Lout, and then behind that was Patience Alexander. Well, the Lowther has delivered the race that we were hoping for and a really impressive winner in Tiggy Wiggy, who has justified her position in the market, justified her rating with a really good success for Richard Hughes and Richard Hannon from the front, seeing off the contenders as they came. In second, it was Cursory Glance, who challenged towards the far side for Andrea Zeni and Roger Varian, just hung out to her left in the closing stages. And in third, it was Anthem Alexander, who couldn't quite land that telling blow, attempting to concede three pounds all round for Pat Swellen and Edward Lynham. And the three of them came clear in what was the kind of race that we were anticipating and we actually got it for once. Yeah, we did, yeah, um, and it was a great performance by the winner. She ran a blister in second furlong. Um, and just to watch them pulling up, how, pay, how Anthem Alexander went further than the other two to pull up. She actually might want further. She travelled as well as the other two but didn't quicken at the furlong mm -hmm. pole like the winner did and Cursory Glance did. Um, it was a very, very good race but the winner justified her rate and justified her place at the head of the market and put in a hell of a performance. She's tremendously professional. Just look at her head carriage and the way she runs so straight.